Hello. Hi, sir. I, I'm, I've got no issue with the police, sir. I've no issue with you. Uh, I've got 100% uh, confidence. Is that on? Yeah. So if you want to get a senior officer. Not one of my colleagues at the moment, sir. Why not? Why? Because you're a public servant. <laughs> yeah, I am a public servant. You're a public, you're a public, you're a public servant, mate. No, That's why I'm coming here to talk about discrimination and they don't want to talk about discrimination, racism, discrimination, transphobia, homophobia, disablism and I'm here to talk about the physical violence towards Christians that I've experienced in Manchester and the uh, Christophobia uh, experiences that I've experienced. That's what I'm here to talk about and they don't want to talk about it. You want to go to that side mate because they're not going to come here. Hello? Excuse me, mate. Could you get someone to come and see us, mate? This is a, I'm a member of the public and some, so, 
we had a, a staff member here. Because he, I'm filming, he wouldn't come and talk to me, and he's gone. So they're just leaving me here. And I'm here to talk about discrimination. So they don't want to talk about someone who wants to talk about discrimination. So basically, if I was somebody else who's been discriminated, my voice is not going to be heard. And this video is going to the local MP and to MPs to talk about discrimination. Uh, and they don't want to talk about it. Well, could you explain to them that they need to bring an officer? Because if they don't bring an officer, I'll walk round the back until I get somebody. I'm not going away. So basically I'm here to talk about discrimination towards Christians and they can't even be bothered to talk to me. So there's your evidence. Officer, I'm trying to talk to someone here and no one's coming to see him. They were in the front desk there, right? They came and they've gone. Because ah. I'm filming, because I'm filming, they don't want to talk to me. Ah. But it's about discrimination and I'd like to talk to somebody. This video is going to go to the local MP. Yes, please. Um, I need to get this uh, sign and sound to be my name for this one. Yes. Um, it's like a yes. check here. Is that right? Um, yes. 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 So we're in the police station. I'm going to prone the police to ask them that a crime's been committed of discrimination. So I'm going to phone the police and I'm going to ask the police to bring an officer down because discrimination is taking place. Uh, could I have the police, please? Hello, uh, is that the police? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm in Bootle Street. Uh, p yeah, police station. And I wanted to talk to somebody, but because I have a camera and I'm filming, the person at the desk won't f talk to me. And it's about discrimination because I've experienced a lot of physical violence as a street preacher and I just wanted to talk about it. I have no issues with the police. I think the police are doing a great job. Uh, are doing a fantastic job, but I'm, I'm making a video because I want to send it to my local MP and to MPs just to talk about this issue of discrimination towards Christians. And uh, nobody will talk to me about it. And I'm stood here now and I'm not leaving until someone has the kindness to treat me with respect. Because it is about discrimination. Uh, Jason. Uh, Burns, B-U-R-N-S. Because it's not about the front staff, they can go and get a, a senior officer. It's not particularly them. It's a, the reason why I'm filming this is because I'm making a documentary about the danger of losing free speech as Christians. And I just wanted to clarify the law, what the law is about street preaching. And then I just wanted to let them know about my concerns, and that's all. No criticism about the police. The police are doing a fantastic job. Then when I've made the video, I'm going to post the video so that people can see that my concerns and the concerns of Christians in this country are being taken seriously. No, there's, there's discrimination being taken place now. It says here, it says here, it says here on your wall, racism, transphobia, homophobia, disabled. Well, there's a Christian here now being discriminated. You now know that I'm a Christian. I want to talk about my discrimination. And I'm here right now. So there is a crime being committed by the local police. Is that someone who is talk, wants to talk about his discrimination, the physical violence that I've had, and the issues concerning that is not being taken seriously by my local police station. That is a crime. You are committing a crime. You are showing discrimination. First of all, I have not talked to you in any derogatory way. I am upset now because I'm not being treated as a member of the public. All they had to do was get a senior officer. This is, this is not a private matter, this is a public issue. And it's an issue of great serious concern. And, and there is a crime being committed now because I have told you my issues that I am being discriminated because you now know what the issue is and you are not taking those concerns seriously. If it was, well, please, could you get an officer to come and speak to me, please? Yes, yes. Yes. It's, a, it's happened on many occasions within the last three years. I've had many assaults. I've been punched, I've been kicked, I've had all sorts of assaults. But that... I have reported some of them, yes. The, the, the incident is bigger than just the assault. It's an ongoing issue that needs to be discussed. Yes, I can report a new incident, yes. Yeah. No, it's been in different locations, but only two weeks ago I had a bird seeds thrown at me, I had abuse said to me, and I had my equipment broken. Yeah, yeah. I had a woman at the same time come behind me and touch me sexually. Come on, yeah. Shut up, 
while I was street preaching in Manchester. She came up behind me, she grabbed my, my hips and she stuck her, her front part into my uh, bottom. It happened two weeks ago, I'm reporting it now. Yeah. No, because I was traumatized. But you're not listening to me though. The, the issue is this is an ongoing thing. This is happening all the time. No, no, you're not. That, you're not listening. You're not. This is an ongoing issue and it needs to, it can't be just done on the phone. It's something that should be done with an officer here where, it, where, where it's in a, a friendly environment. This is not a criticism of the police. This is, a, this is an ongoing issue. Well, why isn't there an officer here then? I'm, I'm in the police station. I'm in the police station. I'm right in the office here. About it in a nice, friendly way. And, and that's all that I wanted to do here today. The abuse is so massive and so regular that I could be here all day telling you about all the abuse that I've had personally. I wanted to talk about a bigger issue and it's not fair to use your time when somebody here should be talking to me. So I really appreciate your time and if you want to help me with this, that particular issue, but as far as I'm concerned, I didn't come here to criticize the police. But the way I've been treated today in this office is confirmation that there is discrimination towards Christians because you, you, you're only taking one, one issue one day I have countless issues and days that I could take of it. Uh, sorry, could you say that again? That that last sentence. No, they 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 didn't even even listen to what I had to say. He, as soon as he saw the camera, he just went. He didn't even give me a chance. So I phoned you to to let to let them know that if there is a a person in this building that we can sit down and we can talk about this because this video is going to go to the local MP because it's not it's a bigger issue than what the local police can deal with there's bigger issues that this is an ongoing thing of regular every week months on months on, months on and it needs to there needs to be a wider discussion about this and bring other people into the community and i thought that i was going to come to a, a community that cares 
and a community officer is here that would care and want to talk about that and would be happy for a video to go to the local MP so that we could have more discussion on it. So this is the, the thing that you're doing, I'm very grateful for that, I really appreciate that, but that's only one small part of the bigger issue that I wanted to talk about. Was at Piccadilly Gardens uh, two weeks ago on Saturday. Two weeks ago on Saturday. Yeah. They're uh, saying that you're a Bible basher, that you're not allowed to preach from the Bible. They tell you that you're not allowed to. Uh, uh, say certain things are sin. I was preaching uh, two days ago and I had eight, uh, seven lesbians come up to me uh, being aggressive with me and I never even mentioned the issue. I never mentioned the issue of lesbianism at all and this isn't a caring issue. This is another issue that I wanted to talk to my local uh, officers here and also um, the, uh, the local MP as well and other people that I want to talk about because Every time I'm preaching, I'm getting lesbians coming up to me and I don't even mention the issue 99% of the time and they're aggressive. And, and it no, I don't, I don't mention, I don't, when I say 99% of the time, I have mentioned once or twice in the last three years about gay marriage and that's about it. And I've, I've talked about from what the Bible says, but I've never, well, I've never had any particular much comment from that, but when I'm preaching, generally speaking, see, I feel, I feel you're discriminating me now when you're talking like that, asking me questions like that, because I'm just quoting the Bible, and this is the issue, I'm just quoting the Bible, but 99% but of the time, I'm just preaching, and I get lesbians coming up to me, and they're aggressive to me, and I've not even said anything about gay or re lesbian issues, and... and Yes, they do. They do, very vocally and very aggressively. Sometimes I've been assaulted. I was assaulted, I've been assaulted uh, on a couple of occasions. And this is over the last three years, and sometimes I've not, you know, most of the time I don't even mention it. Well, I give... All right. All right, I'll, I'll answer that, but I feel that your question is discriminatory by the very nature of asking me. It is, because, well, it is, but I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll... Yeah, well, I'll... Okay, well, uh, I had seven lesbians come up to me, uh, uh, on Monday and I never mentioned the issue so there we are never mentioned it once so she asked me there was a 14 year old girl she asked me uh, what the Bible teaches about it and I said to her that I'm here to preach about Jesus and there were seven people seven lesbians and they all identified themselves as lesbians and some of them were very aggressive some of them were very de at the beginning were very derogatory in their comments and we had a discussion and a dialogue, but I felt and I feel constantly that this is happening constant, and it's very, it's very, it makes you feel 
as if you, you're not free anymore to preach what the Bible says. I've never, I never even said on that day what, what the Bible says about the issue. I was confronted and challenged about it when I, even, I didn't even mention it in my preaching. So then when they come to you and ask you, you've got to say what the Bible says. And I clearly stated Romans chapter 1 that it, it was not according to God's word. But before that, they came to me in a threatening manner and were angry with me. And I didn't even mention it in the preaching. And this is happening, this happens regularly over the last three to five years. And I wanted to talk about that with the local police and dignitaries, that this is not right, this is not fair. There's too much pressure being put on Christians uh, and being called homophobic and all the rest of it when, when they're not. And I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, and I just wanted to talk to an officer about it, or to people about it, in, in, in a way. I have no, I've no criticism with the police, I've no issue with the police. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right. There's a, they're not at the old place. They're at the new, the new one near the town council, and it's the inquiries office. Yeah, yeah, it's the town hall, and it's got inquiries, and it's uh, the police go, have been going in and out. There are police inside. They've gone in today. They passed me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, I'm, I've, I've, I've said what I've had to say, officer. I really appreciate your time, but I, um, I'm going to have to go in a second. So, it's, well, I'm here. I'm here in the office. Well, there's three police officers that have gone past here in the last ten minutes. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel that my issues are being listened to. I don't feel the issues. I just feel you're, you're dealing with one issue. I've come here. I've come here. I've come here in a free country. I've come in a free country. Basically, all I wanted to do is just come and talk about the general decline in the country and respect towards Christians and that I wanted to tell them about my experiences in town where I'm constantly kicked, constantly uh, threatened, constantly abused. I wanted to talk about Christians who've been arrested and um, I wanted to talk about Christians who were being arrested and um, there was a Christians in Bristol arrested and um, the judge said that the judge said that it was illegal to quote the King James Bible a Pentecostal minister he um, He um, was working for a prison and um, he was working for a prison and he read a scripture of the chaplain, chaplaincy church 
And these transvestites were offended because it was talking about homosexuality in the scripture. And he didn't mean to, to pick a particular verse for that day in, in terms of being offensive to them. He was just reading. And he's lost his job. Every week, we get, I get lesbians coming up to me and talk to me. I only mention it like once every blue moon. And even if I do, I make sure I quote the Bible. And there's a double standard. If I was gay, the police would be out there right now. If I was a Muslim and, and, and had issues as a Muslim, they'd be out there right now. There'd be officers there. But there was three officers that walked past me. Not one wanted to talk to me. And I wasn't even going to criticise the police. I was, I, you know, I've got great respect for the police. So I wasn't even going to, res you know, I wanted to talk about the gradual decline of respect for Christians in the country where we're not got free speech. And it's all right uh, saying about reporting, or you didn't report it. But I get assaulted every week. If I reported it, if I reported the abuse that I get every week, the police would be coming out five times a day. You know, I've been physically punched, I've been physically kicked. I could report that all the time. That happens all the time. But if that was a gay person, it'd be on BBC. If that was a Muslim, it'd be on the BBC. You know what I mean? beyond the BBC but I mean basically what what I've learned today is basically the issues about wanting to talk about issues with your local dignitaries you know this film was going to go to the local MP and I was going to send it to the MPs basically but basically they don't want to deal with your issues basically as the dignitary so basically you know they'll come in and they'll investigate say about this sexual assault and about the uh, other issues and stuff but nothing's going to be done about the wider issue the wider issue that this nation is is becoming more and more discriminatory towards Christians and she was asking me well did you actually mention about gay well even if I did so what even if I did, so what? If I mentioned about it, it's free speech. And especially if I quote the Bible. So really, bottom, top and bottom of it, what I've learned today, is you're on your own, basically. The church, go back to Ronnie and see if you can the church is going to be thrown to the lions. That there's no, there's no actual way of any way of talking to the nation and sharing your issues with the nation about discrimination. And I was in the main police station, three officers walked past, and I had to phone the police in order to talk to the police. And to tell the police that the police in the, in the station are being discriminatory. Do you know what I mean? It's a total joke. So basically, what I've learned today is, I mean, I'm pretty upset really, because I, I wasn't upset when I went in there, I wasn't upset. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to uh, cause any issues with the police, I didn't want to be critical of the police. I went in there with a positive, positive attitude towards the police. I just wanted to deal and talk about a very, very grave matter. If the Muslim Imam went in there and said, I have a very, very important issue about our culture and about our nation, that Muslims are being discriminated at. They bring out the top main guy of that, of that police station. They, take, they bring the top guy out and say, oh, what's up here, man? Well, let's come and have a coffee. Let's have a discussion about it. That's what they would do. Now, she knew I was a Christian on the phone. If I was a Muslim or a gay person, she'd have gone on the phone right to the police station, and she would, she would have phoned, um, phoned them up and said, "What are you doing? Get down, talking to him. It's discrimination here. He wants to chat with you. Yeah, he's filming. So what? Get down there. You know what I mean? So I'm quite upset, really, and uh, they'll come twaddling over to the house." 
and they'll say they'll do this and do that and what have you and then that might issue might get sorted out but generally speaking that's not solving the problem of every week there's constant harassment from lesbians there's constant uh, constant uh, issues of free speech being dealt with uh, your free speech being taken away where councils are trying to move you on and I was going there to ask for clarification about the law that's what I was going to the police station for to find out about the law about freedom of speech law and how it relates today because there are councils when you go to councils like Rochdale and other places like that they they um, they really um, they, they don't want you there, they try to get rid of you. So, uh, to be honest, I feel like I don't belong to this country, you know. I feel Muslims have rights, they have their freedom of speech. If an imam had gone to the police station, they'd have been out there, they'd have given him a cup of tea, they'd have put, they'd have, they'd have, um, they'd have rolled out the red carpet, camera or no camera. If I'd have been gay and said I was gay. They they found out who I was through that woman. Uh, she could have phoned up and she could have told them that there's a guy here and he wants to talk about these issues and saying oh they're busy and whatever. You, you know, I, I don't I don't feel part of this country anymore. I, I feel that this country has gone to the dogs. I feel that this country has become so politically correct that it's going to the dogs. And you know what? I think that one day Islam will take over. That's where things are going with this nation. So I'm pretty upset really. I'm pretty upset that that uh, that Christians concerns the concerns of the Christian community in this country and and the Christian issues are not very taken very seriously. It's no good just taking notes of one or two abuses. There's a general decline within the nation of discrimination towards Christians. A Christian refused to bake a cake for a gay couple, they lose the business. Christians refuse to have a gay couple within a room in the hotel, just they're, they're arrested. You know? So. I just think uh, Christians were arrested, street preachers, the, a few months ago, and then and then uh, they were taken to court. They were fined and charged, and the judge said, "You can't preach from the King James Bible," you know, and there were her attitude, her attitude about street preaching then when she started asking me questions about uh, well what did you say you know saying oh I'm trying to get to the bottom of it but asking me questions that I found quite offensive you know what I mean I told her I didn't mention it when those lesbians came up to me you know so I'm quite upset really I'm uh, quite upset but I know where my bread's buttered, I know that at the end of the day that that there isn't there isn't any there isn't any concern about the Christian community. I mean there are ten there are millions and millions of Christians been slaughtered in the Middle East and nobody's bothered about them, nobody's cared about them. We don't hear much on the press, we don't hear much anywhere, you know. And and nobody cares about them. And nobody cares about the Christian community in this land. You know what I mean? Like I said, if I was an imam and I was going to the, if I was an imam of the Muslim community, and I went to the police station and said I've got an issue with our community being persecuted and our community experienced thing of me, and I want to talk about it, and yeah, I've got a camera because I want to film it because I'm concerned. It wouldn't have mattered. They'd have had, they'd have had the top man of the top person of the station out. They'd have been frightened of upsetting the com the Muslim community, but because it's Christian, because you're a Christian, they don't care. You know what I mean? 
I'm pretty annoyed with it as well. I'm pretty angry, really. And when you're being abused and they don't want to take your abuse seriously, when you're being abused and they don't want to take your abuse seriously, when your own community, the Christian community in this country, is being abused, there are nurses that are losing their jobs because they have a cross on their neck. There are, there are, there, a guy lost his job uh, in the NHS uh, the other week because he wouldn't uh, support uh, gay adoption and he was working for the NHS. So he lost his job. You know what I mean? So there's, there's discrimination going on. And there was discrimination there because she found out I was a Christian. But she, she, she wasn't, uh, so, you know, so the absurdity, you're in a police station, talking to the police on the phone, phoning about the police in the police station. I rest my case. I mean, basically, basically the way I was treated then is the way the Christian community is being treated is the general concerns about discrimination. You know, I told her it's regular, it's every week. It's not just once a week, it's regular every week. And it's not just me, but there are Christians losing their jobs, there are Christians who are, who are being discriminated against in this country. And it's time people listened and, and, and they just didn't want to know. They just didn't want to know, so she didn't want to know. She, she, she wanted to take my details, personal details. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it doesn't solve it just looking into one issue. It's, a, it's an ongoing cultural issue where there's discrimination and persecution that is slowly increasing in, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And, uh, hey mate, you alright bro? Yeah, look on. And I wanted to talk about it. So the lesson I've learnt there, the lesson I've learnt there is you're on your own, basically. Basically you're on your own. That there's no, there's no care, there's no love. They all say in Manchester we're all one. They all say in the nation we're all one. Yeah, we're all one with the gays, we're all one with the Muslims, but when it comes to the Christians, we're not all one. They don't have the same rights. She knew I was a Christian. She knew I had concerns about discrimination. If I'd have been gay, there'd have been an officer there straight away. If I'd have been a Muslim, there'd have been an officer there straight away. So basically, if that's the way they want to be, if that's the way they want to go, let them go that way, you know. But I don't feel welcome in my own country anymore as a Christian. I feel that Christians are not welcome. I feel this will become an Islamic country one day. You know, that's what I think.